Hi guys, it's me. This is Rusty78609. Not in Central Texas. I'm in New Braunfels, Texas right now at an RV dealership. And I'm looking at a, well, I think this is a Class B RV. It's called a Phoenix Cruiser. And I was just going to show you how, this is how you would try to sell your RV if you didn't want to sell it. <laughs> Look at this. They got junk on the floor. It smells moldy, and uh, I mean, it's got a slide. It's not a bad looking unit, actually. I mean, they just it just doesn't look like anybody really wants to sell this thing. <laughs> and it's got, I think, 25,000 miles on it. Uh, let's see what he's got here. He said 25. Well, the key's not in it, so I can't see it. But we'll assume that that's correct. But anyway, there's the TV, and it's it's not bad. You know, it's not bad. It's got a little CD player and a lot of storage and stuff. But I don't know why they left this stacked up on the floor like this. And this would be very livable. It's got one slide out. Not that I like slides. They usually leak. It's got a rear kitchen and bath. It's got a two-door refrigerator right here. And this is a big refrigerator. This is a full size. This is a full size fridge here. And uh, but anyway, I'm just looking at uh, the class C's that they have here. This is, I think it's called Evergreen. This place stinks. But be that as it may, I'm not going to buy this one. That's for sure. But I just thought I'd look at. It. This is called a Phoenix Cruiser. They're very popular, and they they don't lose their value. Uh, they really hold their value. Unfortunately, uh, they can keep this one. But it's a good looking unit. Well, this one's not all that good looking. This thing looks like it's, I would say this thing was probably parked near the Gulf because everything in the undercarriage I notice has rust on it. And uh, anytime you run into that, that's usually what happened is they, they parked it along the coast for an extended period of time. But again, this is a Phoenix Cruiser and it's a nice looking unit in a lot of ways however i not all that excited about it i walked all the way back here to look at it i'm not real excited we'll look at some others maybe this is a coachman freelander right here this is a class c and uh it looks like it's about i'm going to say 24 foot well it says 21 QB that means it's 21 feet long with a with a queen bed and it's open good and it's uh, this one looks pretty good uh, it's got a better smell to say that and uh, I'm not too sure about that round dining area but it's okay and uh, it does have a queen bed got a slide Got a three burner stove, uh, doesn't have an oven, and uh, I can't, you know, whenever you're looking at RVs, of course, I'm just scanning these right now, but you can look along the ceiling, and, you know, if there's been any leaks, you'll see them. This one has a full size uh, two door fridge, too, got a microwave oven, and it definitely, that's definitely, that might be a king size bed, it says queen, but I guess that's queen. And it's got a big window in the back and a big window on the side here. Bathroom looks okay. Plenty of storage. Yeah, this unit would work fine. You know, this unit would. And you can see that these people have been somewhere where it's been rather hot because they have their skylights covered with that uh, coated um, bubble wrap stuff. And that means that their air conditioner wasn't keeping up that uh, the AC, this is this is the AC right up here. You know, and those things are noisy, man, I'm telling you, they're noisy. And, uh, but anyway, this is not bad. This little step here, I'm not too impressed with because I could see me, they got a step right there. And I'm not too excited about that. But again, I'm just looking. I'm not in the buying mode at all. I'm just adding fuel to my furnace let's see what mileage this thing's got on it uh it says well you got to have the key again and i don't have a key so and i know this video is going to be a little shaky 
but anyway that's a class C and not bad I mean it's not bad but I wanted to look because I wanted to see what you could get in a used unit that was decent and uh, you know the thing about it is I mean, even though this is a 21 footer and it's a clean looking unit it is it's okay it's a Chevrolet probably got the big V8 and uh, you know I you know when you think about acquiring something like this for me anyway you have this picture in your mind of a simple little thing but you know that's actually a, and that's about as small a class C as you can get 21 foot you know that has a, a, a bed in the full bed that you can uh, just lay down on you don't have to fold out a couch or whatever and so that's uh but you know you know you I can't really see me driving that okay I really can't after having my Prius and going around in it but again this is a coachman Freelander you know it's all fiberglass on the sides and uh, yeah, it's, it's not bad got a lot of storage but there's one I'll show you over here that that really is a neat one how much time we got here but anyway there's a little camper unit here those little tent things and uh, you know I'm sure those are okay for weekend outings but for traveling full-time I don't think they work this particular uh, RV dealer, you know, if you look around with me here, you'll see they've got everything. You know, these are the big giant fifth wheels, you know, the 30 footers, 38 footers. I mean, those are huge. And you got to have a hell of a truck to pull those. Big truck. That's a house on wheels. And uh, anyway, I'll go on over here. There's a, there's a little Airstream travel trailer a bumper pull up here I'll show you it is a uh, I think it's called a Bambi anyway I'll kind of go around here and you can see that these are these are just travel trailers or I call them bumper pull or just travel trailers because you hook them up to your bumper hitch and pull them but uh, but anyway and you see this one over here here's what I call a gaudy mobile that cyclone that's about a 38 footer Okay, and it's probably got three slides or four. Yep, that's what you need when you go camping, boys and girls. I'm telling you. But they definitely have the RVs. They got about every type you can think of. And uh, th this is this is really a nice trailer. That's an Airstream, and they're expensive. That's probably I don't know. I'm gonna guess seventy-five thousand dollar unit. And then they have this little thing here called a retro. And it's got that little tent-like thing that pops out in the front to give you a place to, I guess, sleep. And uh, and this is what I was going to look at right here. This is a this is, well, it's actually called an Airstream Sport, and uh, it's it's only I don't know I'm going to have to guess that that's probably 13 feet long approximately, and uh, single axle. But it's an Airstream, so you know it's a it's locked. You know they don't let you get in and out of these. But the air I love that that glass on the front, that dark glass, is one way. I mean, from the inside you can see out perfectly, but from outside it's completely black. So I mean, it's just I, I like that. I mean, but a little out of my reach. I think that one right there is thirty-eight thousand. Yeah, I hear you. And then we have right ne next to it one called a D-O-M-A-N-I, Domani. And it's a gigantic fifth wheel. I'll walk in it if it's unlocked. He said they were unlocked. Some of them are, some of them are. Look at the wheels. Check out that. <laughs> How about that, guys? How about that? That's just some cute looking wheels. All right, this one's open. Okay, guys, this is going to be a house. Okay. This is going to be a house. This is a fifth wheel. And okay, here you come in. This thing is huge. 
I mean, look at that. Look at that refrigerator. <laughs> That's better than, better than most houses. I mean, talk about a fridge and storage everywhere. Okay, oh yeah, that's just, that's just a household refrigerator. I mean, you know, that's full size, everything. Oh yeah, freezer, just like a big refrigerator at home. Big microwave, nice kitchen area right here. And then they got a slide out here on the side. Look at this couch. <laughs> you can see, you, you, you could have 10 people in here. This is huge, huge. And the ceiling, how about this? Check this out. <laughs> That's about nine feet. This thing is huge, 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 huge. This is the, they got a big sofa on the right side with those little round footstools. And then this is a slide out over here on this side. So you could entertain quite well in this. Got a nice, Flat screen TV, plenty of cabinets around the top. And I mean, this thing is huge, huge. But pulling it down the highway, that's the next trick. And then you go up the steps. You got one, two, three steps up into the bedroom area. And this is the bedroom right here. And it's got a little slide at the headboard here. Slide. This is a slide out right in here. And a queen bed, and this fifth wheel here. You can, I'm six foot two, and you can stand up in it very easily. It's got a TV in the bedroom. That's a big mirror right there. You can see my little skinny legs, and uh, got a little that AC right there. I'm sure it works perfectly, but I guarantee you they're not quiet. Okay, then we'll go around and we'll check out the restroom or the bathroom right here. And this is the bathroom. And this is just like at home, guys. Got a, a I'm sure that's a plastic, it is, plastic uh, door, but look at that. That's a nice, round, full shower. A little foot flush toilet. Let me tell you, those foot flush toilets, you see that right there, that foot flush thing? They ain't worth a crap. They come off. And then you gotta use your hand to turn the little things to flush. Yeah, it's got little hangers. It's a, this is a full bath. I mean, plenty full. I mean, I'm standing up here. Hey, there's old Rusty. <laughs> anyway, I don't know how you get in this bathroom. Oh, okay. I guess you can't. It's supposed to slide, I think. Oh, it does. It slides. Okay. And there's the shower. How about that, guys? Talk about a nice shower. Not bad at all. Got a nice skylight built in right above it. Got a one of the little fantastic fans right in here, which is nice. But anyway, this is what you call a big, big fifth wheel. I'm sure this thing costs, I don't know, I'm going to guess, oh, 75, 80,000, maybe. And then the truck you're going to pull it with is going to cost the same because it's going to take a, a one ton or more pickup or diesel to pull it you'd have to have a big one this thing's huge but anyway i'm just checking out rvs i was on my way back home from goliad state park and i thought i'd come the long way and come by this dealership and just look but this fifth wheel is a 38 footer at least and baby you better have a truck I mean, you had better have a truck, because to pull this is going to, oh man, I hate to even think. That's huge, isn't it? But anyway, they got a lot of RVs here, and this is Rusty78609, I'm fixing to end this video. But anyway, they got all kinds, look at this monster here, this is called a Voltage. It's got one, two huge pop-outs, or slide-outs, triple axle. That means whenever you see a triple axle, th this one's even bigger than the one I was just in. Uh, maybe I can just, let's just go peep. We'll go peep inside it. Oh yeah, this one's got three axles. This is probably a 40 footer or close if it's open. It is. Let's check it out. 
Okay, not much light. Look at this thing, dog. Oh yeah, all leather, all leather seating. How about this little wet bar here? <laughs> yeah, just what you need for camping out. There. Look at this. Look at the, this. This is the little wet bar, and then up above you have these little chandelier-looking things. Uh, you got a big mirrored door right here. No, you don't. That's another room. Sorry about that. I thought that was a mirror. This actually goes into another room. <laughs> You see this? Well, this is in one RV, folks. This is in one RV. This area right here could be, this one section could be a full RV. And then you come back around behind me and look at those seats. Is that nice? Huh? <laughs> look at this thing. I mean, that's huge, huge. I'm gonna go right quick. Oh, it's even got a fireplace. <laughs> I'm sure it's an artificial thing, but big TV, big black flat screen TV, about a 60 inch. And we go up three steps into here. And here's the bathroom. Ooh, talk about a bathroom. Hello. How about a full tub? Huh? Stainless steel stuff. Got skylights above. Look at this right here. Is that cute? Huh? Got a little glass wash bowl, how cute. And here we've got a queen size bed, and here I'm gonna give you a surprise. A washer and dryer. <laughs> oh, this thing would cost a fortune. You see all this, this is just a bed here. I'm trying to get out of it. This is just a house. This is a house. Okay? This is a house. I mean if you if you have this RV. You're not going camping. You're going somewhere to live. I mean, this is a house. But having seen all that, folks, I can get out of here without standing on my head and missing a step. But this is a... What is this thing called? It's got two entry doors. It's called a voltage. Triple axle. It's got one, two, three axles, and they, I don't even want to know what the weight is. It would take a hell of a truck to pull that. But anyway, this is Rusty, 78609, New Braunfels, Texas, at an RV dealership, just checking them out. And what I found out is my Prius is, it's looking better and better. Now, I am thinking about putting a luggage rack on the top and maybe taking a and maybe taking a little screened-in tent-like affair with me and just setting it out on the ground for those times I'm going to be somewhere for several days. And, uh, yeah, use that for my little screened-in sitting room, so to speak. But anyway, you guys, uh, thumbs up, Carpe Diem. Thank you for all your comp comments. And for those of you that RV or camp in a car, a Prius or whatever, uh, check out my... Uh, playlist on my home page just go to my channel rusty78609 and uh, check out the playlist there's one for full-time RVing and one for camping in a car but anyway the search is just about ending here folks I don't really see how a, a class C will work for me uh, first of all I really don't want to drive that school bus down the highway because I'm used to my Toyota Prius and I'm sure not going to try one of these giant things. That's totally out. So I'm afraid that I'm going to be Prius camping. I just need to tweak it to make it work. So having said that, I'll go through my process again. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Bye, American made. And enjoy your life one day at a time. And don't worry about all this damn politics, folks. I mean, I got some comments. In fact, I had to, I had to trash one comment. You know, don't let it get to you. Don't get excited. I mean, it's it's over. It's done. Get back with your, get on with your life. And besides that, uh, how much does it really impact your life anyway? You know, it may not, it that probably doesn't affect you at all, other than seeing it on TV may aggravate the crap out of you. But anyway, enjoy your day. Take some deep breaths. Drink plenty of water. Walk for exercise. And, uh, you know, enjoy your life. Thumbs up. Bye-bye.